Hey family, I pray everybody is doing well. I want to talk to you about good fruit and bad fruit, about who's surrounding you, who's uplifting you, who's supporting you, who is pushing you to um, achieve that goal that you set for yourself, and who's murmuring and complaining, who's telling you that you're always too busy and you don't have time for them, who's constantly pulling on you for something, but never providing you any type of support. It doesn't have to be material. Look at those folks. The ones who claim to be your friend, the ones who tell you I'm there if you need me. And then when you have a need, they're nowhere to be found or they're full of excuses. It's time to trim the tree. It is time to pull out the weeds. It is time to escort some people and some spirits out the door in the name of Jesus. And it is time to get yourself back on track. This is a good year. There is a lot going on in the world. And if you look at the world, it'll make you feel bad. If you look at God, you'll feel hopeful. You'll have expectancy. Because he wants what's best for you. And he trims the trees. He separates the wheat from the chaff. So if he's doing it, we need to be doing it too. And for those of you who want the Bible scripture, I am in Matthew. And it is chapter 7 verses 15 through 20. Okay? So let's start paying attention to who's around us. And who we need to remove. And do it with love. Don't be nasty. You can be honest. I need people who are going to support me. Who are going to hold me down. And that's not you right now. They got some things that they need to work out. You can be a friend. But you don't have to be right up under them. Better yet, they don't need to be up under you. So go ahead and put some distance between you and them. And you get started on those things that you want for this year. Set your goals, pray, build that prayer altar, and then go ahead and start knocking it out. Have a blessed day. Take care.